How, how did you know that? Hip hop. Carlton Banks is a smart guy. I made them myself. I've been well, climbing all night. Like Just math and intellectual smart, not street SAT. smart. No. But I got loose, man. And she really went off. Carlton Banks is also caring. As in a caring brother, caring son, and caring person. Carlton himself is very gullible for Lavo's antics. Carlton can be overdramatic a lot of the time, but he really does care about his loved ones. Gonna let this scene play out on, just to show the impact of the dialogue and the dialogue itself between Will and Carlton. Anything. It's yours. Give me a hug. What? I said, give me a hug, man. Brother gets shot, he get a little emotional. Now get over here and give me some love. <laughs> All What is that? It's a gun. Carl, are you out of your mind, man? You walking around carrying a gun? What do you think you're gonna do with that? It's for protection. Carlton, Carl, well, man, what do you do? You think it's that easy to just shoot somebody? I close my eyes. <laughs> I was gonna eat that, man. Everything's a damn joke to you. So what, you don't think I'm mad? Huh? I'm laying up in this hospital an inch away from being paralyzed? You don't think I want to get up out this bed and go catch it? It's not gonna happen again, not to me! Carlton, Carlton, I understand that you're scared, man. But the world can be a scary place. You just gotta learn how to deal with it, all right? Yeah, well, I found my way. I saved your life, man. I saved your life. You owe me! Now, give me the gun, Carlton. Give me the gun. I saved your life! I want the gun! Will sits in bed and checks the gun, and as he does, he slowly breaks into tears. So the screen fades to black, and the episode ends. No joke, no punchline, just... done. This is Will's show, but Carlton's the closest thing Will has to a brother, and he knows what kind of person Carlton is. On page 171 of African Americans on Television by David Leonard and Lisa Guerrero on the chapter aptly named Black vs. Social Class, they go into detail about the person Carlton is and in tandem with this, the authenticity of being black regardless of class. And Carlton, in a very important and impactful part of an episode, states... You think I'm a sellout, why? Because I live in a big house or I dress a certain way? Or maybe it's because I like Barry Manilow. Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. I'm running the same race and jumping the same hurdles you are, so why are you tripping me up? You said we need to stick together, but you don't even know what that means. If you ask me, you're the real sellout. 
On page 171, Leonard states, Throughout television, races frequently linked the underclass, more specifically to the working poor. The aforementioned episode was an example of prejudice's existence outside of the underclass. The episode brings anti-black racism to the forefront. And it brings to light how Carlton understands the struggles of the student body. Even though it looks like he's detached from the general populace, he still wants to fight for what's right. 